The scripture for today comes from the gospel according to Luke chapter 5, beginning with verse 27 and reading through 32. Luke chapter 5, 27 through 32. Before we start, let's, let's go to the Lord in prayer. Holy God. May the words of my mouth, the meditations in each of our hearts be acceptable in your sight. May it bring you glory, honor, and majesty. May your spirit move and touch our hearts. In Christ's name, amen. Luke 5, 27. Later, as Jesus left the town, he saw a tax collector named Levi sitting at his tax collector's booth. Follow me and be my disciple, Jesus said to him. So Levi got up, left everything, and followed him. Later, Levi held a banquet in his home with Jesus as the guest of honor. Many of Levi's fellow tax collectors and other guests also ate with him. But the Pharisees and their teachers of religious law complained bitterly to Jesus' disciples, Why do you eat and drink with such scum? Jesus answered them, Healthy people don't need a doctor. Sick people do. I have come to call, call not those who think they're righteous, but those who know they are sinners and need to repent. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A few months ago, Kim and I happened to be at a conference in Mobile, Alabama. And from there, we went to... Some of y'all been to Gulf Shores, Orange Beach, Purdue Key, all that, you know, down at, down at the coast. Uh, we went there for a couple of days, and uh, we've been exposed to some of that Christian conference in Mobile about a church that we wanted to get a taste of, uh, of the way they were doing church. And so we went to the Florabama Lounge, <laughs> right there on the Alabama-Florida border, a huge bar. And we went up on the third floor at 6 o'clock on Wednesday afternoon. They had Bible study up there. And, and, and uh, they have a church that started meeting there two years ago. They have a, a big tent pitched out back. And they have musical equipment. They have all, you know, they, they do church at the floor of Mount Lounge. Now, I don't know what that does to you and, and your 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 sensibilities about churchiosity and religiosity and all that sort of thing. But I kind of had, I had a little bit of a hurdle to get over personally to come to grips with, wait a minute, they're doing church where? you got to be kidding me. I don't know if I'm comfortable with that. Huh. Which, you know what? Church has been pretty successful. I must admit. Talk more about that in a minute. That's the church on Sunday morning. <laughs> the Jesus scandal. <laughs> Whoa, here we are. Jesus is, uh, you know, he's concerned about all of our religiosity and churchiosity and all that kind of stuff. And he doesn't want to hurt anybody's feelings or offend anybody, right? Wrong. He doesn't care what you and I think. And he didn't care what the Pharisees and the scribes thought either. He came to do the will of God. Hello. And so he pushes our boundaries and, and, and our paradigms to where we don't really have any. <laughs> I want you to I want you to try and get on board with, with what's going on here in this scene at uh, this guy's house, Levi, Matthew, if you will. He's invited Jesus and his disciples over. And he's also invited some of those tax collectors. Oh no, not those people. The Jews hated them. They worked for the Roman government, they were, they were Caesar's pawns. They're lording over the Jews and, and taxing them oppressively, skimming money for themselves 
they were rich. They were doing good at the expense of their brother, fellow brother Jews. And they didn't care. And the Jews hated their guts. Now also, at the same time, I want you to, you got to kind of understand the culture. And I, some of y'all that are over 50 years old will be able to get on board with this pretty easy. Those of you who may not be, may not, may not remember the days before air conditioning. Before we all went in our house and shut the doors and the windows and stayed there and basked in that cool air and didn't come back out till we had somewhere to go. Back in the day, if I can remind some of y'all, you didn't go in the house because it was too dead gum hot until it was 8 or 9 o'clock at night. You stayed out on the front porch. You fanned one of them church fans or funeral home fans, you know. You remember them? You drank iced tea. You chilled out. And, 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 and you networked with the neighbors. People, 